longtime Denver tradition is hurt by the current political climate. Black Lives Matter crashed the MLK parade last year, and now the event is suffering financially as a result. Jamie Leary, live at the Martin Luther King Memorial in City Park. And Jamie, the event's future is now uncertain. Well, last January, attendance was down, and organizers are going into this next parade, which is just over a month away, with a $40,000 shortfall. And they told me today if things continue this way, it could mean the end of the Denver March altogether. The cold and snowy weather at last January's Marais played a role in the less than ideal turnout. But the events that transpired during the 2016 Marais also had a huge impact. We are here to reclaim what is ours. After unplanned protests from Black Lives Matter 5280, organizers say families were afraid to attend future Marais and corporate sponsors dropped out. That situation just created uh, apprehension amongst our, our, like I said, our corporate sponsors. On top of that, the Marade's lead organizer, Dr. Vern Howard, suffered a serious head injury back in September. He can no longer do for the event what he used to. And this year... I hope to be here. Yeah. It'd be the first time I've ever, 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 ever missed in my life. With Dr. Howard in recovery and an increase in cost for security, the deficit? It's actually extreme. It eliminates our ability to be able to provide scholarships, which is one of the most important things that we do because it has the most lasting impact. The Marade supports many other programs. If Dr. Howard can't make it this year, he wants people to know. We're a 100% volunteer organization. So every nickel we receive goes to the community and to the programs that support the community. This year, the Marade is scheduled to go on in January, so make sure you look out for those red donation buckets if you'd like to make a donation. They're also looking for more corp corporate sponsorship. We have all that information available online at cbsdenver.com. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado first.